Hello, today I'll be presenting the hotel company as they claim on their website, Wide Hotel Corporation. The name of for each hotel are in three different categories. Timeless Portfolio, Boundless Portfolio, and Independent Collection. First category, Timeless Portfolio, the brands are Park Wyatt, Marvel, Grand Wyatt, Wyatt Regency, Wyatt just by itself, Wyatt Zillara and Wyatt Ziva are both combined hotels, Wyatt Place, Wyatt House, Your Cove by Wyatt, and HRC, which stands for Wyatt Resident Club. For the Boundless Portfolio second category, the brands are Antis, Adila, Thompson Hotel, Wyatt Centric, Captain by Wyatt, and Exhale Spa and Fitness. Last category, Independent Collection. The brands are the Unbound Collection by Wyatt, Destination R-Rated, and I'm gonna butcher this, Juvia de Verda. So what classification or what kind of service they provide for each brand, starting with Park Wyatt, which is the personal and luxury service, uh, Marvel, um, personal and well-being service, Grand Wyatt is Experience Superior service, Wyatt Regency is the premium full service, Wyatt Zillara and Wyatt Ziva both combined hotels are an all-inclusive, Wyatt Place is the selected service, which basically means it's based on customers and owners' insight. Wyatt House is a red residential slash house-based service. Wyatt Resident Club is a member benefit. And Tease is a vibrant luxury, and it's based on arts and culture. Alila is an experience and journey type hotel. Thompson is the craftsmanship luxury. Y eccentric is the destination, Captain is modern based, the Unbound Collection, which is an independent slash individual type hotel, Destination R rated is the resident and destination, so it's a, more of a college dorm type hotel, and the last brand, I can't pronounce it, Juve de Vote, is a story and neighborhood friendly. The reason why my hotel company thinks their hotel service are the best because it's a family owned business. So multiple times on their website um, that they care about the people, build strong community, provide care for customers and surroundings, taking care of their well-being, and embrace slash inspire their people. Quote, as one of the world's top hospitality company, Wyatt commits to care for people so they can be the best. They also support global diversity, equity, and inclusion, which they support black community and for anyone who suffer from discrimination and prejudice. Their frequent stay program has different benefits, awards, and qualification if you sign up to their program. These programs include double points, free night, fee benefits such as resort and exhale, rewards, upgrade services, rooms, rates, amenities, uh, points and cash, premium internet, auto water, which some hotels don't always apply to, and many more. There are many special offers depending on the program. Offers such as saving 15% for members program to the Caribbean and La or Latin America hotels. Ed Lee program gets 50% faster in 2021 virtual workplace awards, and all-inclusive awards, which they earn 1,000 bonus miles per night, uh, double your points in any Y hotels, bonus points with the Y credit card for 12 free nights, and many more. So the hotel chain and the hotel brand have very different measures, starting with the Y Hotel Corporation, which are cleanliness and safety, well-being, technology, social distance measure, digital amenities, business service, Camp Wyatt, Concierge Digital, Check-in Digital, free breakfast and for members, free parking, golf, laundry, pet friendly, room service, and ski. For the Grand Wyatt, the brand are 
they have luxe room, spa and spa bathroom, grand clubs, 24 hours fitness centers, pools, state of the art machines, wedding planet, grand food, and the Go Grand program. So the hotel that I chose is called the Grand Wyatt Melbourne. It's on uh, 123 Collins Street in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, 3000. It's a five star accommodation stay. And here is a 30 second vi uh, video virtual tour of the Hotel Isabel. Take a look. So there is, uh, that video is in the link description. There's also another link description where uh, a couple explores around the hotel and experience what the hotel they offer. So the type of accommodation, rooms and suites, starting with the suite are the Grand Suite King, the Ambassador Suite, Diplomatic Suite, and the Premier Suite. For the rooms is one king bed with no view. One king bedroom with a city view, one king bedroom with a river view, one king bedroom deluxe without the views, a king bed with club access, one king bedroom with a river view and club access, a king bedroom deluxe with club access, and a king bed with a spa tub. There's two twin beds without the view, two twin beds with the river view, two twin beds with club access and two twin beds with a river view and club access. The hotel facility, starting with the Grand Suite King, has two luxury rooms and a 180 room of the city. It's an 80 square meter suite, feature one king bed, marble bathroom, and exclusive Grand Club lounge access. And this is considered a standard suite. The Ambassador Suite has a Melbourne view it's a 100 square meter room with one king bedroom suite, marble master bathroom, and exclusive grand club lounge access. This is considered a premium suite. Diplomatic suite has a view of the Yara River and a Melbourne sky view. It's a 141 square meter suite, feature one king bedroom, a living and work area in a separate space. Italian marble bathroom with a spa tub and exclusive Grand Club Lounge access, another premium suite. The Premier Suite has a floor to ceiling Melbourne City View. It's a 182 square meter suite with an oversized king bed with marble bathroom and exclusive Grand Club Lounge access, another premium suite. For the rooms, we have one king bedroom. It's a 33 square meter guest room with its luxurious king bed and Italian marble bathroom. The two twin beds is the same as a one king bedroom, but it's two single bed. One king bed with a city view has a modern 33 square meter guest room with a king bed, a floor to ceiling view of the Melbourne city skyline and an Italian marble bathroom. One king bed with a river view has the same features as a king bed city view, but instead of the Melbourne city skyline view, it's a floor to ceiling Yara River. Two twin beds with a river view has the same feature as a king bed with river view, but instead of a king bed, it's two single beds. One king bed deluxe has a relaxation 36 square meter spacious room. Located in a prime position at the corner of the hotel tower features one king bed and an Italian marble bathroom. One king bed with club access is on top of the level of the hotel. A 35 square meter guest room features one king bed, Italian marble bathroom, and exclusive grand club lounge access. Two twin beds with club access has the same features as a king bed club access, but instead of one king bed, it's two single beds. 
One king bed with a river view and club access is also on top of the hotel with a Yara river view. It's a 35 square meter room with a king bed, Italian marble bathroom, and exclusive grand club lounge access. Two twin beds with the river view and club access has the same features as the king bed with river view and club access, but instead of, again, one king bed, it's two single beds. One king bed deluxe with club access is, again, on top of the hotel with a city view. It's a 36 square meter room with one king bed, Italian marble bathroom, and exclusive grand club lounge access. Last room is a single bed with a spa tub with its luxurious in-room spa. It's a 45 square meter guest room, features one king bed, an Italian marble bathroom with a deep spa tub. The amenities for each room and suite starting with the Grand King Suite has a luxurious Egyptian linen, access to the exclusive Grand Club Lounge, separate living area with office, desk, and dining area, 24-hour access to city health and fitness center, two mineral water bottles daily, June Jacobs amenities, separate bathtub and shower with a bathrobe and slippers, a mini bar, Nespro coffee machine, air conditioning slash heater with temperature control, and a maximum uh, guest per room is three. The Ambassador Suite has a similar amenities as the Grand King Suite, but added kitchenette and dining area with table seating for four, sound system, and a walk-in shower. The Diplomatic Suite has a similar amenities as the Ambassador Suite, but has a marble bathroom with two walk-in showers and a spa tub, and a kitchenette slash dining area seated for eight. The Premier Suite has a similar amenities as a Diplomatic Suite, but has two large living and entertainment spaces for eight, a work desk overviewing Yara River, double bed pull-out sofa, guest powder room, and a separate bo uh, butcher butler pantry, sound system with three LEDs TV, spa and rain shower with water body jets, and a double vanity with Tolo toilet. Best of all, four is the maximum guest per room. For most of the room's amenities, starting with the one king bed guest room, has a luxurious Egyptian linen, modern living area, 24 access to the city club health and fitness center, two mineral water bottles daily, June Jacobs amenities, separate bathtub and shower with bathrobe and slippers, a mini bar, coffee and tea making facilities, LCD TV, air conditioned slash heater with temperature control, and a maximum guest per room is three. Some room just has the Nespresso coffee machine instead of the coffee and tea making facility. For the meeting and event amenities, starting with events, offer 15 unique and flexible spaces on our um, expansive event floor high-speed Wi-Fi or internet on in all venues, advanced information technology infrastructure, and an in-house team from Melbourne's leading event service company. The meeting and conference has the same feature without the flexible space slash event floor, but has many experience such as culinary, wellness, exploring Melbourne, creativity, and technology experiences, as well as an event concierge and an app for it. This hotel is most targeted for elders like baby boomers or anyone who loves luxury. For the attraction surrounding the Melbourne, a hotel is targeted mostly for adults and children. Starting with adults, the attractions around it are wine and dine restaurants and bars, arts and culture galleries and museum, shopping and mall, historic sites and theater. For families, there's arcades, amusement park, zoo, park playground, beaches, and garden. For the reviews, starting with the Grand Wyatt Melbourne website itself, a total of 2,622 reviews, 1,901 customers rated 5 stars, 394 rated 4 stars, 184 rated 3 stars, 89 rated 2 stars and 54 rated 1 star. TripAdvisor 
a total of 5,810 reviews, 3,653 customers rated excellent, 1,301 rated very good, 508 rated average, 210 rated poor, and 148 customers rated terrible. For Expedia, it's an overall 4.5 out of 5 wonderful with 976 reviews, 633 customers rated 5 for excellent, 224 uh, rated 4 for good, 77 rated 3 for okay, 30 rated 2 for poor, and 12 customers rated 1 for terrible. 4 out of 5 for cleanliness, 4.6 out of 5 for staff and service, 4.3 out of 5 for amenities, and 4.4 out of 5 for property, condition, and faculties. For the COVID-19 pandemic, Grand Wild Melbourne will reopen on November 16, 2020, and it's now accepting accommodation reservation. The safety and well-being of the guests and colleagues is their type priority. Face masks is required for indoor public areas and outdoor areas. What the hotel provides during the COVID-19 pandemic is for the room sanitation of high touch areas using a high grade disinfectant, increased frequency of cleaning air filters, alcohol wipes provided in your amenities, and complimentary hand sanitizers. Dining areas have a food safety management system and insurance of food safety through our HACCP certification, a globally recognized and independently food safety management system. For the check-ins, there is disinfectant of key cards, sanitation of counters, tables, and surfaces, sanitation of pens after every guest use, and hand sanitizing gels for guest use.